All right, news. Um, Kim Kardashian gets booed while watching a football game. That's good. That's good. That's that's cool. How have you been? Um, I've been okay. It's been it's been decent. I was gonna stream yesterday. I just really wasn't in the mood. I'm not gonna hold you. But usually on Sundays I don't stream. But I had to make up for yesterday. So so I'll be here today. Shout out to you. Um. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of yo. That's no, yo. That's some next level hating. That is I'm not, That is some next level hating to just hate on a person for just being there, bro. She's just watching the game. That is some next level hating. I don't know what. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like Kim K chat, but like that is that's really some next level hating. If I'm keeping, if I'm cute, is that with you? Cowboys and Reds game. Oh my god, that's some next level hating. Real life Iron Man. Royal Navy troops fly across New York Harbor on jetpacks. Really Yo, chat, they getting back. Y'all was talking crazy. Y'all was talking crazy on on on, on in, it, in, in the UK, but like they really they really leveling up. Bro was really just levitating. I ain't gonna hold you. Whatever technology y'all got, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gonna turn into the Winter Soldier very fast. I need all that. We need all that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and and, and, and start being our Goku. Protect us from all dangers. You know what I'm saying? Like we need you. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody said Fortnite. Yo, there's... Who said Fortnite in the chat? Freak them one with the give us up. Appreciate you, chat. Appreciate you, chat. Uh, by the way, I have to say this every stream because you know what I'm saying. I gotta I gotta pr promote more. But um, if you have a crown next to your name, that means you have a prime sub. That means you have a free sub. That means no ad. So if you have a crown next to your name, use the prime sub. I ain't going to catch you. Um, Balls. I, I tagged you in a weird looking sausage video. Chad, do you know how many people tag me a day? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, I literally look at all my tags. I don't think people realize that. I literally look at every single one of my tags. Every, like, every single day. So, if I look, if you said, if you ever tagged me in a video, most likely I've seen it. But, like, 80% of the videos that people tag me in are terrible videos. Or, I just can't, like, work with it. Like, to I have to really just look at a video and be like, oh, yeah, this the one. And then use it for whatever skit I want to use. But like a lot of y'all be tagging me in some weird, very odd stuff. So I be looking at everybody. So if you tag me in something, I probably already seen it. I ain't gonna lose you, bro. Um, bro trying to make it, bro, I feel you though. Balls, 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 balls. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate you, gang. Uh, we grow up. Uh, okay. Hey, Rai, um, from YouTube. Nice. Uh, shout out to you, bro. Yo, yo, Appreciate you coming through. Uh, Jazzy Joy, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you, gang. Appreciate you. Hey, Rai, a sub for two months now. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Um, NFT purchased by Logan Paul for 623K is now worth $10. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm glad I ain't, I ain't look at that bullshit. I'm, I'm glad I ain't do that bullshit because you I ain't gonna hold you. That's a crazy investment. But here y'all go. Blue Rye, Blue. Actually, NFTs are the future. If you actually invest one dollar into NFTs, you will get five million back tomorrow. No, like come on, bro. I, I I actually don't care. It's crazy how much I don't care. But hey, if you care that much, you know what I'm saying. You could you could say it. I ain't gonna lie. Are you, you doing unbanned requests this stream? Tim, I'm gonna what I was going to do because we're at 99. I wanted to do unbanned requests this stream, but I'm actually gonna save it for next stream. So what we're gonna do is that everybody who got banned last stream, I'll look at y'all today, but we're not doing bingo board. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Tuesday, when we, uh, we're gonna do, we have 80 unbanned requests to get through. Then we'll do the bingo board on Tuesday. So uh, we will be going through some unbanned requests today, but we won't be doing the majority of them until Tuesday. So um, that's what we do. We had 101. Who got banned this stream? We were at 99 before the stream. Who be getting banned? Um, but yeah, this is tough. This is tough. I'm not gonna lie. Last stream, I was tying out high time. I ain't gonna lie. Last stream, a lot of y'all kind of deserved it, though. A lot of y'all was really wild, and especially during the therapy stream, a lot of y'all gotta just know when to kind of read the room. So a lot of y'all kind of deserved it. I'm not gonna hold you, but like, 
if you got banned that stream, I'm going to pardon a lot of y'all, even though I feel like I should, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh yeah, I seen this. I seen this. Lil Baby, Nicki Minaj, Pete Davidson are featured in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 trailer. They just, they just had randomized on the thing, like... Yo, back up. Squad up. It don't matter where you been. It don't matter where you been. My warfare is back again. Yo, this don't seem real. Am I cool? Is that okay? Am I the only one who just don't feel like this is a real commercial? Like this is don't seem like this don't seem real, bro. Like, like. Modern warfare is back again. Drop on in no time to wait. This is one of the, the mobile ad sample ever real like this. I, chat, I'm really stuck in a trance because this just does not feel like a real ad of Aka Hooji. Um, Pete Davidson, <laughs> yo, Amari. I'm not going to Uji chat. How many of y'all are, uh, how many, wait, which game is this for? Is this a new Call of Duty game that they're promoting for? I'm not going to Uji. The last time I kept up was COD. It was like 2016, bro. I'm not going to Uji. Is this a new, this a new COD game? How many of y'all are actually about to go cop this? I swear this ain't my mommy's place. He swears this ain't his mommy's place. It's for a video game? Yeah, it's literally for COD. This phase? Well, hey man, if y'all love Call of Duty, maybe that is a commercial that uh, I'm not gonna hold you. I I wasn't really feeling that commercial, but hey man, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, if if, if that's your type of commercial, bro, had everybody in it though, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah man, if, that, if that's if y'all about to go cop the game, then hey, <laughs> that was a, a odd commercial to say the least. I will lie to you. They didn't even promote the game. Like, I just want y'all to know that could have been a, a game ad for any other game. Like, I think that's that's really what it is, bro. This is, it could have been a game ad for literally any other game. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, nah, they really started from the bottom. They still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the head of bits. Man sues Texas Pete Hot Sauce because it's made in North Carolina, not Texas. Hey, man, get your bread, bro. It's all good. It's all good. Get your bread. I respect it. Um... I was hurt. Well, I was happy and hurt when I seen this. Internet meme and personality Ice JJ Fish got married. Um, hold on, I gotta. This is this is a classic though. I do gotta go. I do gotta throw this back though. I'm not gonna hold you. Where well, I'm proud of Ice JJ Fish because Ice JJ Fish gives a lot of a lot of us hope. I ain't gonna lie. That, I think that's the biggest thing that we take from this. Ice JJ Fish gives gives a lot of us hope. Damn. You rock into a headshot's production. It's something about you, girl. Where did I have one of the Everyone wants to tell her. There's nothing else better on this world. The moment I've seen, I was in shock. Adam W. Holy. This is a bit, this is really a throwback song. Life was good when this song came out too. It's crazy. Lucky lady, I took him off the market. Red light, all I know is go. Yeah, I'm 
Chicago hoods, it has a classic line. Never listen to that ever in your lifetime. If you see that red light, you should not go. You should actually make an abrupt stop and wait till the light turns green. Because if you listen to what he said, I'm not going to hoods, you're not going to have a good time. That's crazy. Um, never listen. That's actually one of the worst lines I've ever heard in my life, and it's crazy. I ain't going to cap to you. Um, but good for him, though. So this is the the lucky lady that took him off the market. I JJ Fish is looking a lot a lot more better these days. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, if this is how you sing, ride. That's not how I sing. Don't ever disrespect me like that in your life. Uh, uh, he just played it for us, but good for him though. This is my wife, y'all. I'm officially off the market. He looking healthy now. Nah, he definitely looking. I you know I actually wondered for years if I JJ Fish was like you know. Like when this video came out, I was always wondering if he was like, you, you know, you try y'all, you like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I like, you know, like, does anybody know? Like, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like that, yeah. Um, I was always kind of wondering that. <laughs> so, like, somebody said, so, like, so, somebody said gifted in the chat. <laughs> yes, I always wondered that when I watched the video, but. Um, I guess we guess we never know. Good for him though. Regardless, good for him though. Good for, good for him though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shaggy is. What am I doing wrong, Josh? Yo, I feel you, Josh. Um. Oh Lord. Ah, oh, here we go again. Wait, what is this? Velma's new series. I'm not gonna hold you. I haven't kept up with this. What is? Somebody let me know. Twitter not gonna like this. Is there? A, hold on. Can I? Velma's new series. Is that out? They is mad as hell on Twitter, but the main issue is his lame ass cut. Let's see Velma's. Are it? They... Yo! Hold on. Dear HBO Max. I just learned you intend to make a genre-bending comedic origin story of Judy Jetson. When I heard this new version of Judy Jetson wouldn't be boy crazy, the only word I had to describe my disgust is jinkies. If there is one thing the internet agrees on, it's that you should never change anything ever. I hope you die. Sincerely, Velma. Well, at least Judy's still white. <sighs> Unknown. Caller. Spooky. Hello? What? Okay. Velma Dinkley speaking. Hello, Velma. Do you like solving mysteries? They said our people up yeah, Like, bro. I'm actually much more three dimensional. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me just watch this before I say anything. That's the mystery. And solve it quick. Serial killer calling from inside my house? Yes, that's a classic, and that's my point. Why change anything when the classics all still work, right? Wait, you're inside my house! Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm late or not. When did this come out? Oh, I've been on a good side of Twitter because I've not seen anything about this, yo. Twitter is not going to like that one chat. Twitter is not going to like that one. I'm not going to hold you. Twitter not going to like that one, bro. That's tough. That's tough. I'm not going to lie, chat. Like, we got to... Okay. All right, bro. Now, this is, a, this, is what, this is my take on it, bro. There was no reason to actually do this. I'm going to keep it in stack. With the Little Mermaid, y'all who was tripping over that were actually y'all were tripping over like actually nothing. I'm not gonna hold you. Like it was a it's a live action adaptation. The story isn't about to change. Nothing's about to change. But it's like okay, at this point, like it's like all right. I have to admit, we gotta cut. Like we don't gotta do this for everybody. Like there's actually like we don't need to do this for everybody. <laughs> like we don't like I, this might sound crazy, but like we like can we just like. Can we just make new series? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we could we could just make new series. Because <laughs> now we about to get hated on for like a, a month. 
in two months, and then this is about to get boycotted because just because of this. Can we just make like I don't I don't even bro I don't even watch Scooby Doo no more like like what are we what are we doing bro what are we what are we doing bro um I'm not mad I'm not mad at it though you know what I'm saying I'm just a little just like damn bro like this is I, this is I just find this crazy we need new shows bro stop the reboots. Yeah, like, I, don't, I feel like we don't have to keep revitalizing these shows and then changing everybody. Because y'all seeing these shows, like, they be revitalizing these shows and then it be trash. Like, ah, oh, damn. Or, chat, they either revitalize the show, they change everything about the character, or they revitalize the show and then the character just, you know what I'm saying? Or it be changing the characters completely. It's just like, bro, just, just keep, let the show be how it was, bro. I know it's a Velma spinoff, so technically it's not Scooby-Doo, but, like, come on. Let's just, it, 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 it might as well, it might as well be a scooby dooby doo like, tight, tight, right? But, hey, man, I mean, I don't have no problem with it. I wasn't going to watch it regardless of who the main characters look like, and I'm still not going to watch it regardless. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, now I know if I look on Twitter right now, it's going to be a war zone over this, bro. You saw how they was doing Ariel, bro. Like, I, I can, or, like, it's going to be a whole war zone but hey man if you want to watch the show watch the show i don't i actually don't care like i don't have that's the thing about me <clears throat> that's the thing about me chat i just i really just don't be caring about a lot of stuff like whether this does well or doesn't do well or whatever the case may be if you like it you don't like it, it has nothing to do with me at the end of the day so i just if you don't like something you can choose not to watch it and i definitely won't be watching this regardless so hey man do what y'all want to do bro um he got kodak cut no this is a crazy this is a crazy cut too this is a crazy cut this is a crazy cut bro this crazy cut all right what else is in news now that caught me off guard i was i did not see that i did not see that um daycare workers fired after scaring children in halloween mask the people that did those acts are no longer with me they were fired and um uh, i wasn't here at the time and um i wasn't aware that they were doing that and i don't condone that and i i never have and um i just wanted to say that um it is being taken care of from what we know videos of two accounts surfaced one from mid-september and one from october 4th but both showing a now fired employee intentionally frightening young children while wearing a mask. The owner. Okay. All right. I was about to say she didn't do nothing wrong, like inherently just by putting on a mask, but then she just yelled at the top of her lungs to a bunch of four year olds. So now we're getting a little weird here. I'm not going to lose. Now we're getting, man, a, now we're getting w a little, it's just a coming. little odd, like to do the <laughs> said she expected some kids to not show today after the controversial video released. One woman was dropping off her granddaughter this morning when she heard- But I'm gonna keep it honest, chat, bro. And this is just me. This is just me personally, bro. If it was like two in the early 2000s, bro, this would have just slid and nobody would have cared. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My teacher, I can name like three teachers off the top of my head that did this to us. Like played some type of scary prank on us or did something like really, really off the grain that- like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it a stack. Not saying this is right. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that this is not right, but I'm not saying that is right. But I'm just saying it was like 2005, 2006 or something. I ain't going to lie. We would have just let this slide. You know what I'm saying? I, I, um. So she, she, what, she got fired for this? Man, I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let this rock out. I'm gonna just let this rock. Fired is kind of fired is kind of crazy. I don't think she should have been yelling at him though. Like I, I'm not gonna hold you. Just like yelling, it's kind of like going in there and just directly yelling in their faces. Okay, that's kind of crazy. But like I don't think she should have been like blood, like flat out fire. Maybe administrative leave, but like maybe for like a, a couple of weeks. I guess maybe 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 maybe. But like even then, I don't know, bro. Like y'all, I told y'all about what they did in my elementary school. So like. Just to see this, I'm not, I'm just kind of just like, I don't know. I'm just kind of just like, hey man, what it is, I guess, I guess at this point. Um, two solid Matthew, thank you for the three months, bro. I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, I, I guess, bro. Um, okay. the people that, let me see. 
Yeah, she really got fired over that. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. Um, ASAP Bari has reportedly been kicked from V Loan and no longer has the authority to use V Loan license. Um, uh, Malcolm, who'd you V Loan motherfuckers are crying all across the country right now <laughs> with their backs turned. Who? If you he 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 makes V Loan, I'm pretty sure. He's like either the owner or the co owner of V Loan, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm I'm pretty sure he owns that. Like he made V Loan. But um this I'm pretty sure this is his company, so essentially he got banned from his own company. That's tough. That that's tough. Hey man, I'm not gonna hold you. I've never rocked V Loan in my life, so <laughs> some of y'all I know some of y'all motherfuckers like crying right now, but uh not me. Not me. Um Kanye West announces he's running for president. I'm not going to lie, Kanye. I'm going to keep it all the way stacked with you, bro. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think like, I don't think that's going to work, bro. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think I just be personally, I, I don't, I don't think it's going to work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West is very self-destructive. You know what I'm saying? Like very, very self-destructive. Especially these past couple days when Kanye gets in his bag, bro. Like, like in these days, bro. Very self-destructive, Kanye. I, I, I don't think, I don't think that's gonna work out for you, bro. But hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I know some people go, gonna go for him. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I ain't gonna lie. Um. Okay. Wait, hold on. Person who leaked Draymond slash pool video sold it to tmz for 50k yo yo okay all right all right all right all right i'm gonna keep it a stat the person who did this is probably gonna get sued low-key but if that is me i'm looking at that no, i'm gonna keep it a stack chat if i'm in possession of that video bro in gta I'm, I'm gonna do it too. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even gonna count. I'm I, like 50k, 100k. That's like a that's like a good car. That's like a, a, a that's like a Tesla, bro. That's like a the, that's like a Tesla, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. That's like a that's a, I'm not gonna hold you. That's like a good apartment. That's a house in some places. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I would too. I ain't gonna count. Let me help you pay rent, Zaddy. Weary face. Um. Illiterate, thank you. I, I I appreciate you. I I I I please I I I don't know what to say to that. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would have done it too. I ain't gonna lie. Like bag alert, major bag alert. It, like come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. Um, that's gonna be it for news for today. Uh, yo, that Belmont thing really just kind of threw me for a loop. 